Good day and welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we are going to explain and demonstrate how to create a dynamic group or list in Azure Active Directory. Not as hard as you might think it is. So let's go through and show you the little tricks that we have, we, have, we use. So the first thing to do is get off to your Azure site. So portal.azure.com is your friend. Sign in, I've already done that. So we're good to go here. Now blow off to Azure Active Directory. If you don't see it up here, just search for it. Just type in Active Directory and it will come up near the top. And what we need to do is go click on Groups and then click New Group. All right, so it's a security group because the only other option is a 365 account, so it's definitely security. And what we're going to do is create a list of all of the active Windows 10 and 11 uh, computers. Create a title. I'm just going to call this All Active Win 10 and 11 Computers. I won't bother to fill in a description because the name was clear enough. Is the membership assigned dynamic user or dynamic device? In our case, we're going to use dynamic device. Let's click on that and click add dynamic query because this is where the fun comes in. Not very challenging, but you have to figure a couple of things out. Oh, what we have to do is choose a property. And you look at this list and you think, this isn't quite plain English. Well, how do I figure out what's what here? Well, not very hard. Bring up a new window and go to portal.azure again, a new tab, I should say. Go back to Azure Active Directory and find any computer. So let's go down to devices and look at all devices. And we'll pick on this one. I'll just click on it. And you can see here, these are the plain English versions of things, but they map very closely to the names and choose a property. So we're looking for things that are Windows 10 and Windows 11. So here we want to select device OS type and we want to set the operator to equals and we want to make it exactly windows it has to be exactly the same and yes if it's not windows it will change to android or other operating systems so windows is windows now let's click add expression here and select the drop down now we want to select the oos version right the operating system version start with the number 10. And you might ask, well, if it's Windows 10 and 11, shouldn't we have another one, another and here that says Windows 11? No, because Windows 11 is just Win, uh, Windows 10.02. So you can see here, this is a Windows 11 machine and that's its number. So everything starting with 10, Windows 10 and 11. And more companies than you would expect do not delete their old machines from Active Directory. They just let it clutter it up. That's a mistake, but it's common. So you may also want to set a rule here that is account enabled equals true. And another one you might want to do to filter out some of the chaff is if it's in Intune or not. So if you're using Intune to manage these machines, management type contains MDM. Now I'm, I'm going to get rid of that because I actually don't want that, but you might. Another thing you can do is, well, let's save this save and see if that works now let's go take a look at that query and one of the things you'll notice is it is an instant so when we go to groups and we select all win 10 and 11 you see the updates are expected to process within 24 hours okay usually a few hours right now it's zero machines and i could click on members to actually see it my experience has been that this takes about five minutes to actually start populating and even on networks with hundreds of machines it's pretty much done within about 10 minutes but your mileage may vary as they say so a couple of things here one i've got the title wrong let me go fix that and how do i do that go to properties and click save and if i wanted to change the rules that i queried this on click dynamic membership rules and you can see I've got these rules here, but look, I can do some other things like going directly into the syntax. I could add a bracket here and a bracket there, and I could add dash not. So these would be all of the disabled ones. And now look what happens when I click save. Just pay attention up here because these are going to disappear. See that? 
So now it's just in the uh, syntax box and that's where you have to edit it from now on. I'm gonna go undo that. There, and they just come back. Good to know, and you can delete a rule. I could click on this and dump it. Okay, I'll be back in a couple of minutes and let's show you what the list looks like. So now I've got a lot of information here, lots and lots of machines. If I scroll down, I can keep clicking load more. And that will give me, because I've got hundreds of machines here, uh, that will give me, uh, you know, finger problems from having to click so much. So what you probably want to do is click bulk and download members. And it will, when you click start here, it will give you uh, the complete list, which in my case is, I think, about 500 machines. In, uh, it takes a minute or two to come up, but it's just a CSV, so you can open it with Excel. Won't bother to show you that because it's really obvious. This will take about a minute to create, maybe two minutes. But I can go back to overview here, and now I can see, oh yeah, this has 542 devices in it. That's a pretty good group. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe's always appreciated as well. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urtech at www.urtech.ca or leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will because it's YouTube and everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.